Hey everyone, my name's Matt, and welcome to a new series here. Now, usually, so far on this channel, of all the play I've done a whole bunch of like playthroughs of games like Bloodborne, Blood Level 4, Demon Souls, Soul Level 1, th things like that. So, uh, after completing Code Vein, I was thinking, I was like, what do I want to do next? I kind I kind of want to uh, maybe make just like some li little shorter videos here instead of like a full playthrough. So I figured I'd go through Dark Souls 3 again. Now I've already done the Soul Level 1 run, but I figured I'd go through, maybe make some uh, some videos for each boss, just kind of like my own personal tips and tricks on how I take care of the bosses on SL1. So yeah, we'll start with Udex Gundy here and go the whole way through to uh, Slave Knight Gale at the end. But just uh, yeah, really quickly, Soul Level 1, yada yada. So before we fight here, what I like to do for Udex Gundyr is I uh, walk up to him, you know, without a weapon out, because if you have the weapon out, you can't parry with your bare hand. It'll do the, like, the little animation there that gives you a buff. So put the weapon away so you can parry with your bare hand. So for the first half of the health bar, when he's, you know, the just like the, the warrior thing, I like to bait out... There's, us there's usually two attacks that are really easy to parry. He'll go for a long wind-up behind himself that you can sit there and just wait, and then as soon as he goes to go forward, just hit the parry, and you'll get an easy repost. So what I'll do is he'll swing, I'll parry, pull out the weapon, and then repost him so you can get the max damage. Then whenever that's done, put the weapon back away and recycle. In the second phase, when he turns into like the uh, demonic form of himself, it's actually pretty easy. Just stick to his right side, and he'll do... There's a few different attacks he'll do, but um, the one is like a jump attack where he'll jump in the air, just counts usually like one, one and a half seconds, and then dodge right before he gets to the ground, and you can get like two hit depending on what weapon you're using, like two, maybe three hits. I guess for soul level one purposes, we should be able to get two hits with the club here. And then there will be times where you'll be a little bit away from him, and the the demon thing will like try and j bite straight at you. So all you have to do is just walk forward towards it, and when you see like the animation, just roll into it. You're good to go. Um, yeah. Other than that, I think he he does like one sword attack that's pretty easy to dodge. Once again, just stick to his right side, and you'll be good to go. So I guess uh, let, let me go show some examples here of what I like to do. Now with uh. I might be a little rusty because I just got done playing Code Vein and I'm still getting used to uh, the control switch again. So if I press a wrong button, that that's why. Anyway, let's go into here. Oh, I guess you can get a few free hits here right off the start as well. So pull that. Yeah, four hits. Put the weapon away. All right. I guess he'll do that jump. I always just roll because I like to go for the parries, but you can punish that pretty easily. Uh, you can parry that one, but I'll get the one here that I really like to parry. Yep, right here. Really easy. You can sit there and wait and watch him go for his attack. So get the repose. Just back out. Put your weapon away. Relock on. I don't really like to parry that one just because it's uh, very weird, I guess. Because you have to be, you have to be a bit quicker. But yep. Back out. Lock on. Oh, never mind. All right. So dodge through that. Beautiful. Take out the weapon. Yep. That's the that's the sword attack he'll do. He'll slam down. And here's the jump. Yeah, I guess it's more like two seconds. But yep. And there's the swipe with the hands. So. Oh, I, thought, I really haven't even seen that attack, but it's pretty simple. Uh, you can stagger him. So I'm going to... I'm not going to finish him yet. I'm going to show the attack. So there's the one where he'll just slam down. So once again, as you can see, I'm sticking to the right... Oops. Oh, let's back off and heal quickly, I guess. Oh, and get crushed. All right, let's heal. Let's watch a few of these. All right. So once again... There'll be that attack where he'll, like, swing through. This attack where he jumps and just dodge when you see him getting ready right to start falling. There'll be the swipe just like that. Now, as you can see, the entire time I'm just sticking to the right, just rolling to the right. Making it nice and easy not to get hit. Just dodge down. 
Oops, I meant to attack. There's a swipe. Get a hit. You can probably just walk to the right of that one. But yeah. Okay, one more one more jump attack here. Dodge that. Let's get one final hit. So as you can see, um, first phase, really simple. Parry timing, well, if you've never done it before, it's going to take a little bit to uh, get the hang of it. But just sit there, wait for that long, long wind-up attack, and then when you start slowing it forward, just hit L2. Give the parry. Well, I guess it depends on what system you're on. LT if you're playing on an Xbox controller. But, yep. Parry, pull out the club, then repose, put it away, do the same thing until he's at half health and he transforms. Then when he transforms, just bring out the club and just keep circling to the right. You'll you'll be able to avoid everything pretty much. The uh, the slam down attack, you can just keep circling. He'll slam down. I always just dodge it for safety, but you might be able to just completely circle without ever actually getting slammed. Uh, the jump attack when he goes in the air is a great time to get some punishment on him because once you dodge it and he lands, you can sit there one, two, maybe three if you're feeling it. And then the attack where he just, the quick hand from the demon, just literally, you'll, you'll know when it's coming because he'll like, he'll like go back a little bit on the, on his left side. So when he does that, just literally dodge right through it, get a free hit. And then the other main attack when you're up close is the one where he'll like, the demon thing will like wind up and it'll spin around to its right in a circle motion but it's the same thing if you just keep circling to his right you'll be able to avoid it and yeah it's it's just like that i know the first boss isn't all that crazy and difficult but i feel like it's a good good little entry point to start off with all right anyway i hope you all enjoyed and i will see you all at vort of the boreal valley